Good morning everyone, it's the second day at the NAB 2019 show. It's still totally quiet in the halls and that gives me an opportunity to walk through the booth for you, especially to show you all this great stuff we have. We brought almost all our controllers this year. So we have the Mini Fly, the Live Fly, the Brack Fusion Live. And in this section, we demonstrate how it can be connected to both an ATEM switcher and a new tech TriCaster right here. So this one connected to the ATEM switcher, this one connected to the TriCaster. We have also the AirFly um, for TriCaster edition at display this year. And what is special about this is that this keypad has been designed with labels that targets the TriCaster Mini or the TriCaster TC1. Over here we have PDC control, so the PDC Fly, super popular controller, the PDC Pro just as well, and uh, you probably know them already. We also have the small PDC Wiz in the middle, and um, you know it's a special concept where the controller itself is connected over to um, the switcher systems over here. So for instance, when you bring up camera one on preview, then you actually have access to moving the Panasonic camera over here. So that's what the PTC Wiz is about, a hybrid controller that brings together switching and PTC control in a super compact form factor. Then of course we have the quick bar. We also brought a Rackfly Uno controlling the video hub. And isn't it just obvious how cool it is that you have the displays that tells you what is routed by each button instead of having those labels stuck onto the panel? It's just more beautiful, tidy, and of course, so much more flexible. So on the back side of the table, this year we actually have a back side which is fully equipped with cool controllers. So in this corner we have the Ethernet uh, GPI link for instance. So there here we have the tally system here um, with our super cool tally lamps, very easy to connect uh, daisy chain and so forth. So the PTC Pro and the PTC Extreme, which is a new controller this year uh, on the back side here. Um, the PTC Extreme is um, one of our news at NAB 2019. So it has a zoom rocker, super cool zoom rocker, aluminum um, design. We also have a focus wheel, which you can operate with your thumb. We have iris knob right here. Then of course, a lot of flexible knobs and buttons with displays. So you can assign them to preset recall, menu selection, parameter adjustment, and you will always see the values and what they do right there. And it has a Hall Effect joystick, which is also super cool. So the waveboard, is, um, that's actually pretty neat. Although this is not a use case that you will find in real life because it's connected to an ATEM switcher here. And I can go, uh, if I go to this bank, you can see this is the ATEM switcher. And here I am talking to the TriCaster. So this configuration is kind of goofy because it talks to two switcher systems at a time, but it shows you why Skyhoy controllers are so flexible and valuable because they are configurable and can work with so much hardware in any combination uh, just to fit your needs. So on this table, we have a great display of cameras on the front, but let's look at the back side. So we have the Master Key 1, the Master Key 36, and are they not just awesome in this blue color, blue black design that we came up with? We are really proud about this. So um, super awesome controllers for the high end. Over here, we have the Airfly Pro, which is a really popular controller, and we improved it to be even more flexible because this whole Kia section if you remember the Airfly just before, it had a Kia section with labels on the keys. This one has extreme flexibility because those keys now have displays. So the Airfly Pro is your universal switching or vision mixing panel that will go with ATEM systems, with vMix, with QPilot, with NewTek, Roland even. We are bringing up um, switcher support for some Roland switches. That's really awesome. The Crosspoint 24, uh, sorry, 48, uh, nice extension to the Airfly. And then of course we have this joystick section which uh, you can place anywhere you want. So uh, the rack units, Rackfly Duo, really cool panel. It's blinky blinky uh, in this configuration because it's talking to uh, our raw panel script on this Macintosh right here. Then we have the uh, Rack Fusion one and uh, Rackfly Uno connected to the Kuma router. One thing you should know about this setup, which is not evident from just looking at it, we have like 10, 15 devices or something like that. It's almost every controller in this section connected to the Kumo router simultaneously. So for the RCPs on the other side, just come with me. What we usually do is we, we um, this RCP talks to the Kumo, this one talks to the Kumo, this one and this one talks to the Kumo, this talks to the Kumo, because 
when you press the preview knob, you want to bring up the source on the uh, smart scope right here. And um, this is, um, yeah, so, and then when I press, uh, now in this case, because we have four cameras, I press the camera selector up here and you can see it's routing. When I press cameras here, it's routing. It's routing when I press the camera or uh, the preview buttons over here and so forth. So on this side, which is really exciting too, we have two things going on. We have camera section and replay. So the replay section is uh, the XC8 hooked up with Softron M replay. So you can come and see how that works. And of course you can go to that booth if um, you watch this video before an AB is over. I'm not even sure we'll get out. But okay, cameras, really cool. We have this year a Sony camera at display. We control the Sony camera using Sony simple camera protocol using this CNA one box. So through ethernet, we are talking to this box and the eight pin cable comes out here and into the camera. Yes. Over here we have in the other end of the spectrum, the Marshall CV350 camera. And of course Marshall have many POV cameras, which we are already or I am going to support in the future. So you can see we are really, we have the whole span. In between we have Sony, C90, uh, it could have been FS4, oh sorry, FS5, FS7. Uh, this is an example of LAN control. So you see the uh, um, uh, Ethernet LAN link box here, uh, Ethernet cable in the one end, in the other end, a 2.5 millimeter jack that goes into the camera and gives you control of the C90, FS5, FS7. One of the flagship things this year is really the EVA1 from Panasonic. That camera has a complete integration with the Skahoy RCP. We even made a little brochure about it so people can learn in this brochure how it's all configured, um, you know, how the menus work and so forth. And you can see it at the Panasonic booth. Likewise, we have the JVC on cameras here. This is still work in progress, but we're working with JVC to bring RCP support for all the cameras uh, to market. So uh, we already have a working prototype here where you can see how adjustment of uh, the relevant parameters on this RCP, like for instance, let's just take a look up here. We have white balance, uh, red and blue. Uh, we have uh, white balance mode, um, full auto, if I change over here. Um, You'll see we have focus, iris, and so forth. And then, um, oh yeah, we have a super cool new feature, which is our roller wheel on the RCP. This is a new option. And for those of you who fancy to use RCPs, um, one RCP for multiple cameras, this is a really uh, cool um, option to buy for the RCP because the roller wheel makes it more flexible to switch between cameras. So the definitely most preferred model is the joystick version of the RCP because usually you have one RCP for each camera. This one, if you want to run multiple cameras, that's the preferred option. Of course, we have the Colorfly. We have also the inline 10, which is for even smaller compact adjustments. And um, it's not only cameras. Oh yes, we have the PTX head from Brushworks and the Blackmagic Micro Studio camera sitting on that. And this, uh, is of course, we have been doing this for years to control Blackmagic cameras. And then the final thing is that we have the NXT 910 frame synchronizer. So this super tiny little four channel input frame synchronizer also contains a color correction unit. And we can adjust parameters in the NXT using this interface over here. So. Uh, just to show you how this one was hooked up, actually on this one we are talking to the Blackmagic camera, on this camera channel we are talking to the Sony camera, on this one we are talking to uh, the NXT 910 uh, to adjust gain, uh, red, green and blue offsets uh, in the frame synchronizer so you can shade cameras that do not otherwise have shadeability, if that's even a word, uh, built into them. So that's our booth. NAB 2019 and um, hope you liked it. So now you've got a tour of our booth. If that's not enough, you can visit our partners. So at NAB, we have a lot of partners at the show floors, mainly in Central and South Hall Lower. You can see on the back side here, we have at the RE, uh, AJA booth, you can see our, our RCP, Newtech has a PDC Pro. In Softron, we have the XC8. 
We have ensemble designs with the RCP in the Renaissance. We also have a PDC Pro at the Broadcast Speed NAB Show Live Studio. And in Central, we have Panasonic, they have an RCP, JVC has RCP, ARIA has RCPs exclusive. And then Roland, they have uh, a quick bar, including a PDC Fly. You'll find two PDC Pros at Fieldcast. You'll find an RCP at Dreamchip. This is where you find uh, custom panels of at NTP Technology. Emergent has an RCP. Adorama will show you the telelight, and Ada will show you PDC Extreme PDC Pro. There's a um, Air Fly for VMix there as well. So as you can see, you will see Skyway all over the place. And that's pretty cool.